right, this is my model. You would think by looking at her that like she has the space, right? But what happened was on her sides, her hair come out. So that is the main issue. All right, so she has a low hairline, right? When you try to put uh, a lace unit on a low hairline, it doesn't lay right. A lot of people already know this, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. You guys probably kind of seen me do this. I kind of gave you like a clue as to what I do sometimes when I had my daughter to near out the back of a lace wig, but I actually do it to the front. I just didn't tell y'all, but now y'all know. All right, so check this out. If you look at her hairline, it comes back here, right? So if you want the lace to sit right, you have to mimic the hairline. So what I did was I parted it like her hairline. This hair gotta be got to be taken out. I'm not going to sit here and tweeze this out because if I do, I could possibly put a hole in it. All right, don't look at my nails. I, have my, I need to put my press on. Anyway, so I'm going to nair this out. I have it matching her hairline. I'm going to nair it out. I'm not about to sit here and tweeze my life away or put a hole in my lace trying to take all that hair out. So guess what? I'm going to nair it. Watch this. I'm going to nair this out. I'm going to put it on this little spatula. It's real liquidy too. And then, come on over here, travel with me. I'm gonna put it underneath and I'm gonna put it on top possibly. This is like an awkward situation. I didn't expect for her forehead to be like that. So, we ended up in this situation. That's many. You know what, I already know I can nair this out. So I'm not even gonna sit here and try to play like, I'm gonna get this out by tweezing, right? Without messing up the lace. So, I went ahead, pulled out my nair. And we making it happen. Okay, so let me tell y'all this. The only thing that I'm going to make sure y'all understand is if you are going to bleach the knot, you have to um, do the nair first because it's going to turn really, really red if you do bleach after the, um, the nair. Um, if it turns red, you can fix that by toning it, but just to prevent you from going through so much, just nair it out like how I parted it off of her. Nair it out first and then uh, customize the uh, lace. Okay, so what we're about to do is we're about to remove this. I've let it sit for about 20 minutes. Watch this. Ooh. It's going. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, like really this pressure is not gonna work, but we gotta make it work because we, we had a hair show and I don't have a choice but to make this work because my model showed up with a little forehead. <laughs> so I gotta make it work. I gotta make it work. I gotta make it work. See how clean that is? No tweezing. Make it work, make it work. All right, so it turned a little reddish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some toner on it to get rid of all the little reddishness. Same toner I always use. Okay, so look at how much hair came off. You know, so now I'm able to match her sides and I'm matching. Look at how far back that is, right? So she got the space there, it's just the size. So you see it turned a little red or whatever, so I feel like I need to um, tone that and I think we'll be all set from there. I just cut the lace off and put it on. Okay, so I decided that those knots were a little, um, I decided that the knots, I felt like they were a little dark, so I want to bleach it and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna tone it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. All right, so I re-bleached it. It did turn a little orangey. What I'm doing is my Shade ZQ and my 8VB equal amounts. It works really fast, so, I mean, you can paint this on here. I don't have anything. I'm at a show, and I don't really have time to do anything. So, I'm just putting this on here. It can't hurt the black hair. It's a demi, so color don't lift color. It's not going to uh, do anything to it. You see the, the uh, redness is already going out. So, I'm going to let this sit maybe just a couple minutes. But you really, sometimes people always say like, how long? It's mainly you sitting there watching, you see how it's disappearing? Watching it disappear. Watching the orange go away. So I wanna mix a little water in here with this because I wanna dilute it. I don't have, you could use clear to dilute it. I don't have any with me. 
So I'm gonna use water. Cause this right here is very aggressive. You have to move really fast or you're gonna have to sit there and watch it. All right, so we ha now have it matched up with her hairline. And we have Mr. I Am Hair Physician in the house helping me with this attachment today. I do notice, I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like this is coming out too far and we can kind of tweeze some of that off because that's not that much that has to come off. So we can kind of prepare this before we do the attachment and it doesn't match her skin. We're going to get it to match as well. So this is the area where I was saying we want to take, you know, some of that hair off the front because her hair does come out right there, but not as much. I didn't want to nair it because I was afraid that the nair would get it, you know, everywhere. So I just wanted to be careful. All right now. Yes, magic wand. This is my this is my secret now. Ah! I'm giving y'all free smoke. Free. What? Yes, the people. Extreme. Then, as we started developing, 
um, is what I was explaining to you. A lot of people were, um, you know, coming up very oily. I have people that are oily that wear our um, our first um, extreme cream. They don't have any problems. But you got some people that are extremely oily, right? Everybody is working out trying to stay in good health. And that's when we released our new um, active. So that's the glues. Some people ask these, like, which one is stronger? They're both strong. It's going to react to your body's pH. Okay? So that's where those two come into play. And we also have on our website a five ounce. Okay? We have a five ounce. And I um, I retired, I want to say it's been probably about five or six years now from behind the chair. And I was, you know, would always be on Instagram, you know, applying the product with my finger. Because I know that when you uh, apply it with your finger, it gets really, really flat. And a lot of people, you may see them like using a lot of glue and uh, kind of spreading it out or whatever. If you carefully spread it out, it's fine. But I know that people that at home users, sometimes they're gonna use too much. So what we did was we put it in an applicator, which to me reminds me of a finger. Mm -hmm. All right, that way we can spread it evenly, okay? That's what we did with this. And you can purchase these on our website as well. We recently introduced tint. Um, lace tint. Our lace tints, we have four. This was a joint venture between myself and Taylor Crown. We just uh, did this this year. Uh, as I had started teaching lace, um, I had been using her product. And I believe she has maybe like about 10 different colors. What we did was a special edition because she was support, she was sponsoring my classes with uh, tint. And she would send us uh, the main four, which was uh, light brown, medium brown, dark brown, and caramel. Uh, what I would do as a teacher is I would just do like concoctions. We would just mix them to get different colors because we all come in different colors, right? Mm -hmm. By me being a teacher and being a hairstylist, I know that we're not going to buy all tint. We're just not going to do that. So I was showing them how to cocktail it. Now, for a person who is just at home using it, yes, buy your specific color. That's fine. But I know as hairstylists, we cocktail, and we those four are going to get you what you need for every skin tone by mixing them. So I'm going to spray these on here, and I'm going to pass them around so that you can see the colors. This one right here is the caramel. You're going to see us use it today as well. Then we have light brown. Medium brown. And what I like about it, it don't take much. And, and another thing I always tell people when you're using lace tint, you want to make sure that you spray. What I usually do is I'll spray one coat, and then I'll check it. You can spray another coat, and then you can check it. You also have excess lace on the front of your, if you're doing someone else's hair, you have extra lace on the front of that lace where you can cut a piece off and match them up. But there's one thing that I want you guys to remember and never forget. If the lace is already too dark for them, this is not going to help. It's going to make it darker. So, the one thing that I want to go over real briefly, lace come in five different colors, okay? They come transparent, beige, light brown, medium brown, and dark brown. What you can do is you can request from your vendor or uh, wherever, and your vendor or wherever you're buying it from, you can request a swatch. So that you know what you're getting when it comes. Because I know y'all heard of people doing what, like the um, uh, people bringing them lace and it looks gray. Mm -hmm. But if you request a swatch, you will know what you're getting before you get it. And if the uh, client brings the lace in, you can either um, tell them you don't want to do the service or just don't post it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> or... They're going to end up with a lot of baby hair, which happens a lot of times because we don't want to send them out there like that. And you're going to get clients that's going to be like, but it's all like that. Meaning, I'm not about to order nothing else. Right. Okay. So, we also have a remover and we have a skin protect. Now, 
I get uh, I, when I realize, you know, a, a lot of times when you're translating information to people, you have to be so, so clear. So it says skin protect. The first thing a person think about when they think about skin protect is protecting their skin, right? right. So I get people, they're like, well, I don't have sensitive skin. So the one thing that I have been trying to reinforce when I'm speaking about my skin protect, I try to let them know, and this is like the best way to make people remember, it's actually like a deodorant as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listen to this. It's going to protect the skin, and it's going to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I do eyelashes, but I want to learn how to do these. Okay, we know an application for that. What about you? I mean, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what issues? Um, like what issues? With the little being white patty. Okay, so listen up guys, when you when it comes to using a water-based glue, this is something you have to remember. If a person, you see how she's fanning in the back? If I we put, climb a million stairs to get if, we put, <laughs> you know, if we put the glue, that's enough, it's just to show her fanning. If we put the glue on her while she hot, and that could be your women that's 40 and up, that sounds like we're being discriminated. <laughs> Most times your women that's 40 and up, that's going through menopause, if their body is hot at the time of application, it will never turn clear. Wow. It almost bubble up. Yeah. Wow. That's exactly. like, so what you can do is you can give them a, a, a glass of ice water and their body going to cool down. Even though they might wow. still be a little, it's going to cool down immediately. It's going to cool down immediately. Okay? So that is very important when you're using a water-based glue. A water-based glue, the way that I teach it, we're getting people a hold of two to three weeks. The thing about it is you have to apply it properly. Because I already said it's water-based. Water-based lets you know it's got a lot of what, I, what I've been doing, guys, I've been going around um, around the United States. I was teaching this initially by myself. I had so many people support me, so many young styles support me, and I just like to give back. So what I've been doing is bringing them with me and, um, you know, let, allowing them to apply the products. Next year, a lot of them we will be hiring, a lot of them to go out and teach for us. So that's just something that, uh, you know, we wanted to do moving forward. So... Today, uh, I am here physician. We have prepared a lace for you guys because I feel like this is one of the major things that is causing people to either hate lace or just not want to do them. And like she said, they look ugly. It's because we have so many different types of hairlines. So what I wanted to integrate today, usually I'll find, I find, when I do class like this, I'll say make sure her forehead is big as mine so we can get it on there and get it off because it's just, it's a free class. But that's not helping people. I had to realize that's not helping people because that's the easy part. The hard part is what you're about to see today. You won't get to see the tweezing and all of that. That's tomorrow. But you still have an idea of what's going on and why you're probably having problems. Okay? So, I Am Hair Physician is going to talk you through uh, how he uses the product and how he uh, does his application. I'm going to get the model. The model, my, all my people, they got three jobs. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm right. Good. Okay, so when I got here today, I realized my model that came in and to dedicate her time and help me out at the last minute, her forehead, she has the forehead space in the uh, front, turn to the side, either side. You see how that hair comes up on the sides where her eyebrow is? Mm -hmm. So when we would go in to lay a, a regular lace on there, it would not lay properly. So this is an issue that a lot of people are having. So what we did was, you could go ahead and place that on there. The lace on here, like uh, he was uh, explaining, the lace is purposely lighter because we're going to show you how to use the tint. We removed the hair so that we can mimic her hairline. We're going to talk about how we uh, removed it. If y'all go back, y'all be able to see it on YouTube. I'm going to post this up. So we pretty much removed all that hair so we could copy her hairline. Because that part right there goes back. And this still comes forward. So we copied, we copied her hairline. That's why you're having an issue. Okay? So let me get a good. We copied her hairline. I'll post this up tonight so y'all can watch it on YouTube. We copied her hairline. Now we can uh, go ahead. Now it's going to fit her perfectly. Okay?
Okay, for this end result, honey. Oh my God, pull that back. Do that one more time, do that one more. What, hairline, what? Okay. Yes, yes. Let's get up on it, let's get up on it. Yes. Perfectly fitting her hairline, baby. Take it back one more time for the people. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Show out, show out girl.